Hi everyone, this is Miss Robinson. Today we're going to be learning about the arrow method for addition. Do is go ahead and write down arrow method under the keyword portion of your note writing template. If you haven't already drawn this template, go ahead and draw it now and pause the video. This strategy can help you do math in your head. This is a little example of what it's going to look like once you're done. And if you're learning, if you're wondering how you can do this yourself, just stay tuned because you're about to find out. So the arrow method helps us to break down numbers so you can easily add them in your head. Remember when you learned expanded form? This is an example of what expanded form looks like. We have the standard form, 23, and then we broke it down into expanded form, 20 plus 3. What we're actually going to do is this expanded form, break it down a little bit further to help you do your mental math a little easier. So for example, we have 20 plus 3, and we're breaking it down by tens and ones. So we have two tens, one, two, two tens, and we have three ones, one, two, three. Remember this because this is going to help you when we go on to our practice example. I want you to take a moment and write down the description of what we are doing today, breaking down numbers to do easy mental math. Pause the video and write this now. So on to our first and only example for this video. The problem we're going to do is 36 plus 23. This might look like a hard problem to do just looking at it, but if we keep the 36 alone by itself, and then we were to break down the number 23, it's actually much easier. So let's go bring down the number 36, and then we're going to start breaking the number 23 apart. So we can already see there are two tens and there are three ones. So we're going to add the two tens one at a time, and then we're going to add the three ones one at a time. On the first ten, 36 plus 10. If you remember the last video we did, then you'll remember that if you're adding a 10, the only digit that changes would be the tens place. This would become 46. We still need to add the other to make 20. So here we go. Now we're adding the next 10 to 46. Again, you're adding 10. The tens place is the only place that will change. So 46, 56. So now we have added the two tens for 23. We need to go ahead and look at the ones now. We have three ones, so we're going to add ones three times. So here's the first one, 56 and 1 make 57. Again, you're adding a 1 for the ones place. So the only place value that changes is the ones place. Adding another 1. So we have 57 plus 1 again. And now we're 8. Now we need to add the last 58 and 1. 59. So the answer here is 59. As you can see, we have taken the 23 and we broke it down into two tens and three ones. The answer here is 59. Remember, you can always rewind and pause if you need to rewatch this lesson. And now I want you to try a practice problem. Your page. I want you to write down 52 plus 31. Solve this problem writing the arrow method. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.